Welcome to Think Money Magazine. Let us get as many views on this video. Just hit the like button to help get this video in front of many other people. Thank you. Remember to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed in order to be notified of future videos when we upload. Don't be like those people who just come and watch a single video and leave without liking or subscribing, which means they cannot see future videos. Seriously, liking and subscribing on this video does not take 2 minutes. So go ahead, like the video, comment and subscribe it will motivate me into making more videos for you. Also watch the other videos on this channel. Before we get into today's video, some legal stuff. Please note that I am not a financial advisor. All the content posted on this channel does not constitute financial advice. If you need the services of a financial advisor, I recommend you look for someone like that in your town. In simple English, all the information posted on this channel is my own opinion. Use the information posted on this channel at your own risk. Now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the topic of today. It's about the richest women in South Africa. The woman at the end of this video is probably the richest woman ever in South Africa, so watch this video until the end. We hope you get inspired to reach your dreams and financial goals. Men often get the limelight for their financial achievements, but these women have as much power and a whole lot of cash and they didn't have to marry the president for it. 10. 10. Christine Ramon. Net worth. Plus 50 million rand. Source. Top managerial position at Sasol. Christine Ramon has served in various top managerial positions of well-known organizations. She was nominated as a young global leader by the World Economic Forum in 2007 and is presently the executive director and chief financial officer of Anglo Gold Ashanti Limited since 1 October 2014. Christine joined Sasol as chief financial officer with effect from 1 May 2006 and resigned in 2013. Her net worth was last estimated at around 50 million rand. 9. Dr. Mamfella Ramfell. Net worth. Plus 55 million rand. Source. Investments in various companies. Mamfella Ramfell is well known as a politician, a former activist against apartheid, a medical doctor, an academic and as a businesswoman. She was named among the nine in Africa's richest women, who worth at least 50 million rand. 8. Ninlanla Mjolin Cube. Net worth. Plus 94 million rand. Source. Real Estate Plus sits on various company boards and was a presidential advisor. Ninlandla created the wealth she owns through sheer hard work and dedication. She is recognized as the chairwoman and founder of Women for Housing and the Rural Housing Loan Fund. Her resume speaks of her impressive accomplishments, and she was last estimated to have a net worth value of around 94 million rand. 7. Dr. Judy Lamini. Net worth. Plus 124 million rand. Source. Investments in Pharma Care, Aspen, Tourism, Logistics, Property. Currently, Judy Lamini is occupying a top position at Mbikani Investment Holdings Limited than Aspen Pharmacare Limited. Her net worth was last valued at around 124 million rand. She once advised that creating wealth requires finding and pursuing a passion. According to her, you need to be ambitious, focus and work hard. To her, that's the only way to get wealthy as there is no shortcut. 6. Elizabeth Bradley. Net worth. Plus 332 million rand. Source. Diversified investments. Elizabeth Bradley previously served as an executive director of Anglo Gold and is a non-executive chairwoman of Toyota SA Limited. She is the daughter of Albert Wessels, who is regarded as the first person that brought the Toyota brand to South Africa. Her net worth was estimated at the value of about 332 million rand. 5. Sharon Wapnick. Net worth. Plus 433 million rand. Source. Inheritance plus property investments. Apparently, Sharon inherited her wealth from her father Alec Wapnick. Forbes reported Sharon is one of the top five largest shareholders in Octodec Investments and Premium Properties, which are both property loan stock companies listed on the Johannesburg Securities Exchange. Sharon is the non-executive chairman and a non-executive director of Premium Properties Limited. Also, she is the non-executive chairman and a non-executive director of Octodex Investments Limited. 4. Bridget Radab. Net worth. Plus 1 billion rand. Source. Mining. Bridget Radab is the elder sister to South African billionaire Patrice Motsip. Forbes reported her as the founder of Macau Mining, a Johannesburg-based junior mining firm with key mining assets in coal, gold, uranium and platinum. 
She got a start in the early 90s managing shafts, producing and procuring for larger mining firms in South Africa. Her net worth was last rated at around 1 billion rand. 3. Irene Charnley. Net worth. Plus 1.5 billion rand. Source. Telecoms, media, banking. Records show that Irene Charnley has worked for numerous companies as an executive director. But she first made her mark when she spent 13 years coordinating the subunits of South Africa's National Union of Mine Workers as a negotiator. According to Who's Who, she's a non-executive director for MTN Group Limited, a director of Jonah Communications Limited, and a non-executive director for Firstran Limited. 2. Wendy Ackerman. Net worth, plus 1.9 billion rand. Source, Ackerman Family Trust, Retail. Wendy's wealth comes from the Ackerman Family Trust which owns about 50% of Pick and Pay, one of the biggest retail establishment in South Africa. Forbes narrated that the US $3 billion market cap company has operations in Namibia, Mozambique, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Australia. She's a non-executive director of Pick and Pay Holdings Limited and is well known for her contributions to environmental conservation. Her net worth was last estimated at around 1.9 billion rand. 1. Wendy Appelbaum. Net worth. Plus 2.6 billion rand. Source. Gordon Family Trust, Property. Wendy Appelbaum, daughter of Liberty Group founder Donald Gordon, is the owner and chair of De Morgensen Wine Estate in Stellenbosch. Appelbaum admittedly did have an advantage in being the daughter of Donald Gordon. She said having such a powerful, influential father was almost like growing up in a business school. She once donated 150 million rand to create the Gordon Institute of Business Science and the Donald Gordon Medical Center. Honorable mention. Pam Golding. Net worth when she passed away in 2018. Plus 11 billion rand. Source. Property. Arguably, the richest woman in South Africa's history at 11 billion rand at the time of her passing in 2018, Pam Golding was a South African real estate developer. Pam Golding Properties, which she founded in 1976, is one of the largest real estate groups in South Africa, with over 300 offices in sub-Saharan Africa and overseas. I hope this video has been of some benefit to you. If you have questions, leave them in the comments box below. We will try our best to answer them in the coming videos. Again subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Hit that like button to motivate me to make more videos. Also watch the other videos on this channel. I will see you in the next video.